Welcome back to Cali Corey's world where I'm a Cali girl in a Georgia world. <sighs> What's it for Leah, my nigga? <laughs> Peace out. Hey, town, damn. Good morning, y'all. Um, it is Thursday. <sighs> oh, Thursday, March 7th. Yes. <clears throat> Dang, we already in March, y'all. Time flying, baby. Time is winding down and away. So, <laughs> get right, church, and let's go home. <laughs> Jesus is a soon coming king. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let me stop playing. Um. So, you guys know that I am on my <clears throat> weight loss journey. I've lost 15 pounds so far. Still juicy though, which means I was significantly a little heavier than what I am now. But um, I want to take you guys along on this weight loss journey. Um, one thing that I've changed that has made a huge difference that I'm noticing is I'm not drinking any alcohol. And it's so funny because um, in the video where I went out with my girlfriends, I didn't have nothing to drink that whole night. And it's so funny. Okay, let me take y'all back. So back in 2005, was it 2000? Yeah, 2005, um, the church that I was attending at the time, um, we did a corporate fast. You know how <clears throat> in the beginning of the year, um, you know, most churches do corporate fast for like 30 days. And so this particular fast, he was like, you know, I want you to not fast from food or anything, fast from something that you really need to just cut out of your life. And I said, okay. And no, see, social media wasn't big back then. We talking about 2005. All we had back then was like MySpace and all that. So that really wasn't a big deal, like an option. You know what I'm saying? Like people fast now from social media. I do it a lot. Um, but that wasn't really an option. So I was thinking about it. I was like, mm, do I want to fast from meat? I'm not a big meat eater, so do I want to fast from meat? Nah, no, that ain't really no fast. And I said, sugar. I'll fast from sugar. And that was hard, because I love my sweet potato pie, my peach cobbler, baby. Uh, my Kool-Aid. Oh, I was a Kool-Aid drinking somebody, baby, since I was in since I was in elementary school. I was the queen, and still is the reigning queen of making Kool-Aid. I make some bomb Kool-Aid. And the trick is, every time you make Kool-Aid, I always put a lemon pack in there and put your sliced lemons in there. And it just brightens up the flavor. It doesn't make it lemony, but it makes it taste really, really, really good. So anyway, um, oh, that's bright. Oh, 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 oh. The sun is sun in the day. Hold on. Hey. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. So, so, um, yeah, so I fasted off of sugar and that included alcohol because, you know, alcohol has a significant amount of sugar in it, you know. And so, let me turn my heat on. And let me tell y'all something so funny. I got these toes out, baby. I should have took y'all with me yesterday when I went and got my nails done. I went ahead and got a pedicure. So, off subject really quick. What I do is I... During the winter months, when we're wearing boots and things like that, I don't get a pedicure. <clears throat> I don't really. And the truth of the matter is, I'm going to tell y'all a little trick. I already got the little cheese grater thing and everything in my um, bathroom. But what I do is, I only get pedicures not that often. I do my own little scrape, my own little feet. I just get color changes. I'll get a pedicure like every three months or so. I take care of my own feet. And my, I take a bath and just, you know, do what I got to do. Oh, yeah, I got my nails done. Different color, different. Let me see. Here we go. Can y'all see it? Yeah. A little razzle-dazzle, nothing too crazy. Change the shape, cut them down a little bit. They got really long. But anyway. So, um, I digress. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got these toes out today. So I get my feet look cold. So let me turn the heat on, child. Just a tad, teach you, bitch. Just a teaching. So cut out the sugar and started drinking water. At first, I think that first week it was a little hard. I've always been a water drinker, but 
that wasn't my sole source of hydration when it came to thirst. When I was thirsty, oh, let me get a soda. Oh, let me get some Kool-Aid. Oh, let me get a juice. Oh, man, let me drink some water here and there, you know. So that first week, nothing but water. No juice, no soda, no nothing. Nothing. Nothing in the water, right? It was a little hard, but I'll tell you this. To this day, my body craves water, like craves it. We talking about that was back in 2005. And then um, I had, even after that fast, I had, I didn't drink alcohol. Ooh, let me see, 2005. I didn't drink alcohol until I met my last husband. <laughs> I'm going to go into a story time about, about all that. I've been married a few times, okay? I've been married a few times. I've been around the block a few times, and hey, that's my story. I ain't ashamed to tell it. It is what it is, right? But we're going to do a story time on that. So, why did I get married? How did I get married? Who did I marry, child? And all of the things. Yes. Yeah. The kid has been through it. Anyway. But it's all good. Everything. Experience is a good teacher. Come on, Mickey. How what? Well, shout out to uh, Funky Doniva. Did an, an amazing... Um, interview with mickey howard on his um channel oh my god i love quentin latham he that was awesome because i love mickey howard baby i love miss mickey honey but anyway and she's just such a sweet soul and she's such a humble um woman and just oh i love her anyway so um yeah so 2005 6 7 8 9 yeah, 10, 2009. For four years, I didn't drink alcohol. So, and I would just hang out and party nonetheless. And everybody be like, you had something to drink. I'm like, no, just naturally silly, naturally have fun, all of that. I don't need it. I would drink alcohol. How did I start back drinking alcohol? I started back with wine. I had never drunk wine. No, yes, I did. I drank wine a few little times, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I started out back drinking when Moscato started to become popular back in like 2009, 2010. And then it went from Moscato to White Zinfandel and then from White Zinfandel to Chardonnay because my cousin was like, girl, you over there playing. Get this Chardonnay because Chardonnay going to get you right and get you where it went. And that became my drink of choice. Then... It went to vodka becoming my drink of choice. And then I had a little signature drink at one of the little um, bars that I used to go to that I frequent all the time. And they knew me. Oh, he turned right in front of him in your work truck, fool. Trying to lose your livelihood. But anyway, pay attention. Mind your business. Go and drink your water. <laughs> so anyway, um, so yeah, that drink of choice, I created a cocktail that was chardonnay it was um vodka mixed with chardonnay and a little grenadine and that was my signature drink and every time i went uh got shout out and rest in peace to my brother jason one of the most popular um one of my oh that's sad one of the most popular um bartenders here in atlanta on the south side you know rest in rest in heaven home boy my brother we'll see you again you know what i mean um yeah shout out jason slaughter yeah cool people um he knew what my drink was baby when i show up to the to the smoking room or the piano bar he knew what it was but anyway so um i'm back to that now where i've cut out the alcohol and i'm not I've never been a but this is the thing i've never been a since that fast back in 2005 I haven't had a taste for sweets. Like, I don't, but since I have not been drinking alcohol, I've been, oh, it's a lot of, that's a lot of light. I've been craving sweets. So I didn't have to curtail that mess. I didn't, toot, 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 toot. Yeah. So I'm back to just no sugar. Not no sugar. I am eating sugar. I'm not going, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to cheat myself. No. If I want a cookie, I eat a cookie. 
if I want some sweet potato pie, I bake a whole pie, eat a slice, and call it a day. You know, I love sweet potato pie, baby. Sweet potato pie, peach cobbler. My, this is my Mount Rushmore of desserts, okay? Don't get it messed up. Oh my goodness, I love it. Sweet, hot, well, sweet potato pie, peach cobbler, banana pudding, banana cream pie, baby. Anything with a banana in it, baby, give it to me. Give it here. Hand it here. Hand it here. Okay? So, yeah, those are my uh, jams right there. But, um, and then them little cookies made by Knott's Berry Farm with the little the shortbread cookies with the little jam the, the thing in the middle. Oh, deliciousness is. So, anyway, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm cutting out the sugar, and so now, and I'm, I'm losing weight, all of that is coming off. I've been walking at the gym, but now I have hired a trainer because I want to get back to how I, I, I'm trying to get back to what I used to look like. You know, baby, the girl was, yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, all of that. You know what I'm saying? I was strong. I'm still strong. But I would say life has been lifing. You know, the past 2017, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, the past seven years have been challenging. Very challenging. I've lost a lot of motivation to work out, to train, to do the things for my body that I like to do. And now I'm kind of on the other side of a lot of things that have happened in my life. Losing my mom 2019. Almost losing my freedom in 2019 as well. Well, 2000 started, that situation started 2017. I'll do a story time on that. Because God is so amazing. He, yeah, he orchestrated that whole situation, baby. He is so amazing. And that's why I love him. Not just because of that. He's awesome regardless. But that situation in my life he showed me who he really 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 is he's like girl let me show you let me let me let me let me put you up on game show you what i can really do show you what i'm really made of god is ugh, he's crazy amazing but anyway uh how many i got 24 minutes on this car <coughs> excuse me how many i got some charge okay so but um <clears throat> I'm still trying to I'm doing a lot better but ugh. um yeah so that happened lose lost my mom 2019 then turn around lost my grandson in 2021 that was just like almost the nail in the coffin I was like I'm just done I had no motivation I just was just here you know and drinking a lot a lot of drinking and I gained so much weight I gained like 40 pounds just off of that just drinking a lot pacifying a lot of things and I'm gonna talk about that because and I'm I don't want to I mean let me say this real quick um I was thinking about doing a video about Risa Tisa um, but I didn't want to kind of piggyback on that, trying to get content, all that. I know her. You know what I'm saying? I know her. Like, we live in the same county. You know what I'm saying? Work for the same people, all that. I know her. But I met her back in two, because we used to go to the same church. And it's so crazy because <laughs> when it all started, I woke up one day, I pick up my phone, and I'm looking at my phone, and I, I, I don't know if y'all know who Kevon Stage is, but him and his wife did this video, did this short, and it was on YouTube, and it was kind of funny. It said, what, who the, who TF did I marry? And I was like, what are they talking about? She was asking all these questions. It was funny. And I was like, what is that? And so then he was talking about on his podcast, and all of a sudden, these people talking about, I'm like, who are they talking about? What are they talking about? Yeah, this girl Risa Tisa says this is when it really, really first started a couple weeks ago. And I was like, what? And so then, not just, you know, just paying attention, 
that day I'm at work, I like to listen to podcasts while I'm working. I don't have no music playing or anything. Sometimes I play a little music, but I just listen to podcasts while I'm working. And, uh, <clears throat> and, um, I'm, I'm, my, I guess my algorithm, it pops up. And I looked, I said, that's Teresa. I said, what is this? What the TF? Because I didn't see who the girl was they were talking about. I said, I know her. <laughs> we used to go to church together. And I actually met her through my ex-husband's sister. And so, and I was like, yeah, I go to such and such a church we were going to. I said, yeah, I go. And so I linked up with her and we became cool. And so <clears throat> I know her. So I was like, I was going to do a video on that. I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. Then, but I am for sure going to do a video about Wendy Williams because what she, not what she's going through, but what she experienced as a woman in love with a man who she thought was in love with her and drinking the pain away. I've been there. Oh God, I ain't even gonna cry about it. I've been there. And that's a pain when someone you feel like got your back and he did he had her back if you watch i did a video on um her movie way back in what 2022 20, 21 22 something like that i did a <clears throat> video on her movie i'll link it well i'm gonna link that video i'll link it here but i'll link that video too in the video that I'm going to do about Wendy Williams because I do want to talk about it and just encourage women because you know we do we put you know people say put your trust and your faith in God only but when you when you when you meet a man who is there for you and, and like I said that man had her back there's a time when I didn't even know Total was trying to jump on this girl and he came out like no y'all not gonna y'all not gonna do nothing ain't nothing going down and that's when the love began for her with her ex-husband. And he trusted her. I mean, I'm sorry. She trusted him. And he was there for her. And for all of that to kind of crumble. But see, that's the, the, the and I'm going to get into it. Because the reality is, yes, you are to love and trust your man, your husband, who you with, all that. But don't ever put God <coughs> beneath that. Don't ever put him on a pedestal where God belongs. But I'm going to get into all of that because that's a that's a real place in my heart. That's a real, you know, um, but alcohol. I was drinking a lot of alcohol and all of that and not party. No, not, yeah, I was starting to party a little bit too, a little bit like I used to. And I was like, mm -mm, this ain't it. So cut out all that. Now, again, I have hired a trainer. This is my daughter's best friend's, like her sister, her boyfriend. He's awesome. Young man. Um, he gets results. And I've incorporated some other things, too. Um, my boss slash sister slash friend slash slash mentor slash slash slash. Um... Her son, he has a class once a week as well. So I'm going to incorporate a, a number of things in order to give me that little tear trunk. That little tear wanted to come on out. <laughs> said, that little tear said, hey, girl, let me let me shine. Let me see. <laughs> Get back up in there. But, um, yeah, so it's a number of things that I'm going to incorporate because also I looked and I'm going to see what's going on with Better Me. I'm going to see what's up with them. It's a little subscription situation. I'll incorporate that as well because I'm going to see him two days a week. I'll do um, Michael's class once a week. And then I'll incorporate the Better Me situation. So hopefully with all of these things. And then, of course, my eating habits are, they're good. I've never been one to eat a whole lot anyway. I'm not a junk, junk, junk food eater. Um, I am a veggie girl. I, there is not a vegetable I won't eat. And that's just the truth. <laughs> it's not, they, there is not a vegetable. It's asparagus, bro, I'll, asparagus, let me say this. Brussels sprouts then became like this fad situation, right? Uh, and a lot of foods over COVID have become 
Um, I'm gonna keep it real with you. We've been eating Brussels sprouts since I was a kid. And we didn't know nothing. My mama didn't know nothing about roasting a, a Brussels sprout to make it taste. Because when you roast it, come to find out the, sh the natural sugars in it come out and taste so good. Oh, my God. But she used to boil them with a little salt and pepper. And we ate them. And I loved them as a kid. So, and I still do. But I do like them roasted. Oh, my God. That's a whole nother level of deliciousness. Ooh. Anyway. So, um, yeah, so there's not a vegetable that I won't eat. I eat it. I artichokes. <laughs> Everything, you know. So, um, oh, I love eggplant, squash, zucchini. I'm that girl. So, um, it ain't never no park. God, dog, you got to get here early, child, to get that parking over there. Park my little tail on over here like I normally do. So... Uh, hey, boo. So, um, like I said, you know, I'm going to incorporate all these things. I pulled up to work and just see, you know, get myself back right. I want to get back to me. I want to get back to me. So that is the goal and objective. Um, you know, vlog some of the things that I eat during the day, whatever. Like I got my apple. I'll probably eat that with like one of these little omelet things that I have. My appetite has changed where I'm not eating a whole lot either. So, you know, I got to kind of not force myself to eat, but make sure I eat and make sure I eat the right things. I'm snacking like I'm supposed to with like almonds and trail mix. And I love kettle chips. So I eat that sometimes. Y'all got to try it. Kettle, um, kettle chips, which kettle chips is basically cooked in um, peanut oil and it's just a little crisper texture eat it with some guacamole oh my god lamb of jesus so good i'm not i'm guacamole girl but i could just take an avocado i grew up in cali you know avocados just fell on the ground we pick them up cut them open and put salt and pepper on them eat them as a kid right but um i'll take an avocado and just mash that sucker up Put some salt and pepper on it. Boom. Done. I love, I can eat, I, I can just, I bite it some. <laughs> People be looking at me like, that girl crazy. But yeah, avocados. Um, Let me get on up in here. I'm going to holler at y'all later. I'll probably holler at y'all at the gym. I don't know. But yeah, love y'all. See y'all in a minute. So this is what I eat. Let me see. Oh. That's what this is. The Jimmy Dean Delights. The turkey ball <clears throat> situation. And the apple. I cut it up. Now, because this look a little, little nothing, I put some hot sauce on it and I seasoned it up a little bit. Yeah. So that's what I be eating. Oh, look. I told y'all I wasn't playing with the people. Mm mm. Toes out, baby. Mm mm. Don't mind my floor next week. And then sometimes I eat the little Eggman's best omelet. But just this, a little bowl in that. It's my breakfast. Hey, y'all. Uh, well, it's the end of the day. Just got off work. Oh, yeah. Y'all like my glasses. I don't know if y'all, if I've ever worn my glasses on camera. I don't know, but I do. I wear glasses. Um, these are from Liz. Another shout out. I know y'all going to get sick of hearing me talk about Platinum D. But it is what it is, cause she be putting the girls up on the thing. She be putting the girls on to the thizzles. You understand what I'm saying? So these glasses put she put me up on Lensmark. You know what I mean? And it's so funny because I had never really paid attention to none of the um. Oh, and I'ma tell y'all a little hack. Tell y'all a hack, okay? I'm on my way to the house, cause I gotta go to the gym. Remember I told y'all I was going to the gym. But let me tell y'all a little hack. Um, Platinum D, uh, she put me up on the website Lensmart to get glasses, right? And so when I tell you, oh my God, <laughs> a godsend saved me so much money. So what I do every two years, sometimes three, I go to a company which everybody knows about America's Best, right? To um, get my 
examination and with that examination i think it's like 89 dollars you can um get two pair of glasses with the examination for 89 dollars well you know i do have an astigmatism which ain't that bad but i do need a bifocal right and we talk about the bifocal that your mama used to have back in the day. She had glasses like these and had that line, that little square situation going on at the bottom. I hate that when my car cut off. Hate that. That little square situation at the bottom with the line. Well, you know, now they have the, what they call Invisalign, right? And so um, with that, it's progressive where... It's like I look here straight ahead. I can see far near, no ish. I mean, far, you know, whatever. But then here, I can see up close and reading my computer, all that kind of stuff. Child, like I said, with America's Best, you get your examination, you know, and then you get two pair of glasses for that amount of money. Now, that's granted if you're not getting the scratch resistance, the blue light protection, um, tent whatever your bifocal bifocal is expensive so if i were to get these exact same glasses right i'd be paying almost 300 dollars. it's like 260 something that's not even with tax but i'd be paying a nice little chunk of change right so platinum d last year put the girls up on lensmark it used to be years ago if you went to America's Best, they wouldn't give you your prescription, but they give you your prescription now. So this is the hack, okay? This is this this the uh plug real quick for the girls who got the glasses, right? I take my prescription, the pair of glasses, I went to Lensmark. The pair of glasses, I think they were like either anywhere from $10 to $20. That's probably the most you're gonna pay for a pair, just the frame. Put my prescription in, got the no-line progressive um, bifocal. I paid $54 for these glasses. That's shipping and everything. Now, of course, they were like $60-something dollars before her discount, right? But cool, even if it was $60, I bet you what it wasn't. It wasn't 300 and some dollars. It wasn't $260 out the door. That girl saved me two to $300 and did. Thank you, Platinum D. <laughs> thank you, girl. Lord, I thank you for, for creating Platinum D and her channel so I could get the cool little discount, put my coin back in my pocket on the glasses that's plastic and ain't worth no 300 dang on dollars. Understand, okay? You understand? Man say, okay. Anyway, so, um, yeah, Lensmark. I'm just driving and bantering, but Lensmark, for those, them, these glasses right here will cost me almost $300 anywhere else. Lensmark, out the door. Matter of fact, I just ordered another pair. I wanna say, I paid $67. I got to look it up and see. And they on their way. Child, please. Put me on. Did. Yeah. So, anyway. And I just really wear them while I'm at work or if it's at night or something like that. If, definitely when I'm using my computer. To drive, I'm good. You know, I ain't that bad. You know, I can see. <laughs> pretty good i used to wear contacts but i had to stop that because I, I made it a habit to go to bed with them things in my eyes and it started bothering this eye and like mm -mm. so i just i left and then wait a minute i wore contacts back in the day right they were blue <laughs> i wore them so much that i put on my my driver situation what in the world what are y'all doing I put on the thing that my eyes was blue. My eyes were no dang on blue. They're about 10, 12 years. No, about 13 years ago. Anyway. <laughs> so, I'm on my way to the house. Change, do my superwoman quick change real quick. Headed to the gym. I'll see y'all in a minute. Bye. Y'all walk as fast as you, Sherrod. So, we out here. Listen, I wasn't ready. We outside. We outside. We outside. See? That's all right. 
He dropping his phone. He got my baby girl with him. Let me see. Look at him now. See, he all, all the way up there now. He all the way up there. Two laps. Two laps. Easy money. He said easy money. Says the boy who has muscles in his eyeballs. Okay. Let's get it. Did you catch that? Okay. So look, this is my second, my second uh, lap. So look, he said, all right, Miss Cora, I see you with your outfit. You're looking cute. I said, hey, I had to put on for the city, you know. I said, somebody daddy might be outside. He said, somebody daddy is. I said, uh-uh. Yeah. But look, I said, I need him 40 and over, preferably one foot on the banana peel and one foot in the grave. But then I'm switch it up and say, one foot in the grave, one foot on the banana peel, leave me in the wheel. No, I'm done playing, Lord. I'm done playing. <laughs> oh, this hill ain't no joke, baby. This hill will try your gangster. Okay, I'm trying to make it, child. I'm making it. My 2024 weight loss journey. On it popping. Let go. Seven, eight, nine, Woo. ten, one, two, I don't know about two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One more with the weights, we punch it down. We punch One. it down. <laughs> you gotta punch both of them. You gotta punch both of them. You gotta be easy. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good work. Six. Speaker. Seven. Eight. Nine. We ain't gonna be out here all the time. Ten. I was we can't be. My so far, One, so good. Two. Three. Four. That's what I said, girl. Five. Six. <sighs> seven. Eight. Nine. <gasps> Twenty. Good work. Good work. Uh, good work. We're gonna run on back. Two oh. more times. Two more times. Uh, it ain't hurt like that. It, it ain't, ain't like that. You're physically able. You're physically able. Three. Wait, two, but what I'm doing again? Three. You just punch it straight out this okay. time. Three. Two. One, let's go. One. Yeah. Two. I'm going to record and I'm going to get it in. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh yeah baby, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's what I told him, but he played too much, that's a good word. Going up now. Going up. You do it too. I'm right here with you. We'll be turned to the look, side, right? He in perfect. Look, we, good shot. We, we turn to the side, right? We gotta I'm see the angle. Man. I'm just mad. We gotta see the angle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Finish out. Ten. I like that motivation, baby. Woo. I like that motivation. Shake them on down. Come Shake on, Pooh. Come on, Pooh. I need Shake you. Shake them out. I need you, girl. You're going down. I need you, princess. Okay. <sighs> Ain't no joke. Ain't no joke. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, 
two, three, four. Okay, y'all. Yes, I am in the tub. Man, say. That workout was serious. What y'all saw, my phone, my battery died. So, and I didn't bring an extra battery with me, which was my bad. But when I tell you, okay, man, say. <laughs> that workout was for real, for real, and not for play, play. Okay? I look woe well out. But it was an excellent workout. I'm looking forward to our next workouts. He's giving me things that I need to do. <sighs> between workouts and yeah which y'all didn't see we got the rope he wrapped it around the tree and i was like at first i was like we ain't going inside he was like no nah, we're outside i was like cool whatever I'm running um <clears throat> he comes highly recommended i know him personally sherrod he is my um one of my daughter's best friends that's her boyfriend and he is a beast Sherrod got a lot of clients. He's got his, actually has his own gym situation, but it's kind of far. So, um, you know, he comes to me and he gonna get me right. You know, that workout was intense, but it's what I needed. I'm, it's not something I'm not used to. You know what I mean? It's something that I've actually done in the past. I just got to get reacclimated to the, to the, to the sweat, to the, you know, get the shred on. But I'm taking a quick bath, and of course, I am one of those that will take a bath and jump out and take a shower because I want to wash my tail for real. This is just so, just to get get the muscles relaxed. So, I'll see y'all in a minute, okay? Okay.